Metal for breakfast. Do you eat metal for breakfast? I, I try not to. I, I'm not really into the metal. I'm low on iron, breakfast. but I still try not to. Yeah. Uh, I think this one's for you. Hey, Peter. Just wanted to make sure you know not to hire me, no matter what people say. I saw this guy's video pop up on my feed. What? Yeah? Yeah. No. I haven't seen it. His no, whole no, video no. is like, don't hire me, and then to give you reasons, but like, don't hire me. Son of a See, I created that whole don't hire me video to prevent Peter from hiring me. And all it's really seemed to have done is gotten me closer to being hired. Let me show you what I mean. All right, check this out. I watch a lot of channels out there when I'm not working on mine, and I am always looking for gems. This is a gem. Can you believe that sh That's so nice! Alright, check this out. I mean, at least this guy just wants to know who's on the ground at the end. Like, no chance of Peter ever hiring me from something like this. So, uh, thank you, Jesse Driftwood. Jesse Driftwood, appreciate it. With this video generating so much positive feedback, I've decided I need to do something drastic to really decrease my chances of being in the top five. I need to make the worst edit ever. In my mind, there are three things that'll kill a video and really fail to capture an audience's attention. First thing is the story. The second thing is the voice. The third thing is how the voice tells the story. I'm gonna attempt to combine all three and create the ultimate cinematic catastrophe. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Le désastre de YouTube. That is life. Are we destined to be nothing? This dog and this cat are friends, but are they? Who are we to know? Shall we just disappear? No, we just go down the drain. Because sometimes in life, we don't know what we're looking at until we see it. But the most important thing is that we all